to Bad Food Blog. It's Boxing Day. It's time for slow cooked turkey. British oak ham slow cooked turkey, boneless with a rich turkey gravy. Right, I've already taken it out of the box. I couldn't fit the box in the fridge, but the, everything else is in the fridge. Let me go grab it for you. Really looking forward to this one. It comes with its own tray to cook it in. Yeah. There, comes with its own tray to cook it in. It's already been slow cooked. The bacon is already placed on top of it, not kind of wrapped around it. And you can see it's already been souffled in this bag by the looks of it. So I'm going to place it in there, put the gravy back in the fridge because we're going to heat that up for later. Gravy's back in the fridge. Considering something could take 55 minutes to cook, I'm going to have to get the vegetables going while the oven's heating up. Same vegetables pretty much as yesterday. Just I'm actually going to use the goose fat and the potatoes this time, and I'm not going to do as many carrots. The carrots didn't go down as well as I thought, but everybody liked them covered in honey. So I'm going to cut this bag and get this into here. Let's do that quickly now. Uh, let's turn the oven on, first of all, and let's go over the ingredients and some. There you go. It's not very good for you. Quite high in fat, very high in salt because of all of this bacon, I imagine. Cooks in 55 minutes, expertly slow cooked for succulents. It does look very juicy. Hmm, how to cook. So fan oven, 180 degrees. Let's get that twirling up right now. And remove all packaging, place the sachet to one side. Transfer the meat and juices into the foil tray provided. Cover with foil and place in the middle shelf and cook for 50 minutes. Remove from oven during cooking. Drain the juices and retain them for later. Return to the oven and cook for a further five minutes. Remove, from, uh, remove the foil, return to the oven for five minutes. Remove from the oil and rest for five minutes before serving. Do not reheat. Serving. Heat gravy. Add some of the retained cooking juices. Deliver desired to, um, deliver, to deliver desired consistency. Obviously, it's going to be quite thick. Place turkey on a carving board and slice into one centimeter thick slices, placing slices on a serving dish. Serve. I think that last one's a bit redundant. You throw it away after. Cool. Right, I guess this is supposed to serve how many people? Hmm. Well, it's doing three, so we're going to have leftovers. Right, so everything in this bag is going in this tray. Okay, that's all right, I guess. That was me failing to get the knife out thing. Let's do this pretty quickly. I'm not going to show me making the vegetables again, seeing as I've already done that. I will show you what the resulting vegetables look like just before they go in the oven. Yep, those are all the juices. So this is all of this is transferred into here. Ooh, that's a lot of juice. Come on, out you come. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to slip this bag. Oh, smells nice. It does smell like turkey and bacon. I don't want to damage it, you see, by squishing it through a hole that's too small for it. There we go. I gotta put this in the in the bin immediately. That's what it looks like. That'll be ready to go in the oven in a minute. As you can see, I have followed the instructions and I have covered it in foil. It will now go into the oven when the oven is heated. Also going in this meal is this. The British Outdoor Bread Pork Garnish Selection. Ooh. And we also have Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire Puddings. These as well. But these have to go in when there's 20 minutes left to go. So they're going back in the fridge and freezer for now. But once they're ready, I'll put them in as well. And then I'll show you everything in the oven. Roast's already gone in the oven. There wasn't much to show. It's just a silver package. I thought that was a bit boring. Here are the vegetables. They're all going to be roasted together. They're covered in goose fat, salt and pepper. May have used a bit too much goose fat, just a couple of two spoonfuls, but it does, it does seem to go a long way once it warms up, doesn't it? Well, here we are. Last thing's going in the oven. That's these. 
everything there. As you can see, everything's cooking along nicely. And yeah, best is your pudding. Oh, damn it, I need to get a tray for these. I'll be back in a sec. Ah, they go straight in there as well. Everything needs to cook for another 20 odd minutes. And the, um, the turkey crown needs to come out and have the foil removed in about 15 minutes. Perfect. Okay, I've removed the tin foil and there's so many juices in this thing, it's unbelievable. Look at this, it's swimming in them. Got to put it back in here for another five minutes and then some of this lot needs to cook for a bit longer than that, I think. Whoa! Huge amounts of steam there. Ooh, it looks pretty good. I don't know that it's ready though. Mm, maybe it is. Hmm. I'll go with that. Okay, here we go. So I need to pick this up and put it on this. Um, woo! Still hot, still hot. Huh. Huh. There we go. It's on there for carving. The knife ready for carving. These juices. I'm going to pour into here. And a little bit in there. I think that's what I'm going to use with the uh, gravy. Alexa, cancel it on. Uh, where did I put the gravy? From the box. Uh oh, I've lost it. I'll have to stop the video and find it a sec. I found the pouch of gravy. It had fallen behind something. Hmm. Nice aluminium tray there. Might wash that up, see if it can be used again. All right, now, I guess the thing to do is to empty this into there and pop that in the microwave for a couple of minutes. Heat it up and give it a stir. Gotta be careful, gravy can explode in the microwave as one of my audience was pointing out. Ugh, everything is making mess today. Absolutely everything. Right, while that's doing, this needs to rest for a couple more minutes and then it's going to be ready to carve. It's not quite as crispy as I'd want on top, but it's definitely cooked through. Don't really need to check that at all. So what I'm gonna do is start getting the plates ready. I'll be back in a second once that's ready. And I've got that stock over there that I can use in a soup or something later on. So here we go, it's time to carve this. So I'm gonna start probably at the small end because this is where all the stuffing is. If I start at the big end, I'm going to not get much stuffing and there's gonna be like that much meat before people get stuffing. So let's start at this end. Ooh, that's just stuffing by the looks of it. Ooh, look at that piece. Go over there. Let's go for the next piece. Oh, also again, beautiful. Look at that. Wow, absolutely incredible. You know, that'll be Maxie's piece. Oh, that's going to be my assistant's. Get her a couple more like that. Do you like your one, Maxie? Which one is that? The little one. Which one's little? What do you mean, which one's little? That one. They all look the same to me. Really, you can't see the difference in size between these three portions. Would you like some more? No. <laughs> I got one for my one. That's your one. No, it isn't. You want more then? No. Max, this is your one. And this knife is dirty. That's fine. We haven't finished yet. Go away. 
He's coming and trying to steal the food already, but look, it carves extremely well and is amazing looking. Mm. Do you want another slice or are you okay with those two? Two's fine apparently from my system. Now let's get the rest of the stuff out of the oven and serve it up. Starting with pigs in blankets and stuffing and here we are so three pigs in blankets for Maxi four pigs in blanket for assistant and all the other pigs no I'm gonna have four as well I want all the pigs in blankets okay you get they get four as well then and stuffing wrapped in bacon to each everybody Stuffing's nice. One. You only want one. Well, I'm going to have three then. <laughs> this is often how these negotiations go. Oh, trying to make it look very presentable. It really is looking amazing, actually. There we go. Next, of course, we're running out of space in the plate already, is the Yorkshire pudding concerns. Apparently I'm to put four on my assistant's plate, but that only is one each for everybody else. So she's going to get two like everybody else. Now, I'm having to use my fingers on these. Don't ever do what I do. You'll end up burning yourself. Yeah, two Yorkshire puddings for everybody. They worked out pretty well, didn't they? Right, let's put that over here out of the way. And then last but not least, let's make some space for this because I don't want to do this one in the air. Oh, I'll hide that in the microwave so the cat doesn't try and attack it. The cat will eat any meat left out. She'll come up and minimum lick it. So you have to be very careful. Here are the potatoes. Bobbling away in goose fat. Absolutely owning it in goose fat. Oops. And a little few more. There we go. Some for me, some for my sister, and loads left over for the future. I really overcooked this, didn't I? There we go. I cooked way too much food. I doubt everybody's gonna finish anything, everything on their plate as well. So let's show you what a plate looks like up close. Just before I put the gravy on it. The Marks and Spencer's turkey crown. Would you like gravy? No. Okay, my assistant does want gravy. That, no, no, this is That's mine. That's yours. This is my one. Okay, there's gravy on the assistant's one. And let me show you pouring the gravy on mine. I'm just going to go for it all over there. Avoiding the Yorkshire puddings as is tradition. For me, anyway. Oh, it looks amazing. Look at that. Yum. So let's quickly do the taste test now that I've got the gravy and everything on it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's try the turkey, see what it's like. Oh, wow. Mmm, that does taste good. Mmm. Oh, wow, very, very succulent, juicy. Mmm. Mm. Gravy's nice also. Let's try some of the stuffing. This is the Marks and Spencer's uh, Stuffing, looks good. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad, tastes good, could have been cooked longer. Pigs in blanket. Mmm. Also could have been cooked longer, but still good. Mmm. What? Mmm. I'm going to have to finish the rest of this. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. If you like what I do here, please subscribe. Bye bye.